What is up guys, Lazy Boy here, and on today's Tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of that annoying Ethernet message. It's something along the lines of uh, wireless network connection doesn't have a valid IP configuration, and it just really comes out of nowhere. I've had Windows 10 for months and have had no problems with my Ethernet, but uh, this morning, all of a sudden, I had this error, and it took me for like a couple hours to actually figure out how to get rid of it, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of or how to get rid of this error in three different ways so hopefully one of them will work for you guys as usual guys if you appreciate this video and it does work for you please hit that subscribe button for more content and I really appreciate that so two of our methods are going to be using command prompt and I will have the commands uh, down in the description uh, description box and I'll have them on the screen so basically what you want to do is uh, go to the bottom left of Windows 10 type CMD which will uh, bring up command prompt make sure you right click this is important right click on it and hit run as administrator click yes and then we're in the command prompt as administrator if you do not click run as administrator you will have uh, it won't work actually um, so down in the description and on the screen should be right now uh, there will be this uh, little message or this little script that you need to write and uh, this method worked for me so I'm going to show you guys this method first and then uh, two other methods that didn't work for me but they might work for you so copy this from the description box or type it it's up to you right click on uh, command prompt and it'll paste and click enter and it should say successfully reset the Winsaw catalog you must reset your computer in order for this or for or in order to complete this reset don't restart your computer as of right now um, copy this next text right here or write it whichever one you prefer right click and it'll paste in the command prompt and click enter and you should get a bunch of okay's okay okay uh, resetting failed access is denied resetting okay restart the computer to complete this action this is all okay this is how it should look so I'm gonna restart my computer and I'll be back and then I'll show you method two if this didn't work stay tuned all right I am back guys and real quick as a side note if um, before you restart your computer make sure you click the X button in command prompt because you don't want to restart without uh, exiting out of command prompt so just on that last method click X and then uh, restart your computer as mentioned before so if that worked for you you can click off the video now thank you for watching subscribe but if it didn't don't fret we have two more methods so the second method also involves command prompt so we are going to follow the same steps <clears throat> excuse me there uh, type CMD and then right click and run as administrator make sure you run as administrator click yes and um, I'm not gonna type this in because it pulls up your uh, IP address and stuff like that and I really don't want to get DDoS or uh, reveal any information I shouldn't so simply just go down to the description box or type it in it should be on the screen right now um, copy this uh, text and just simply click on um, command prompt and paste it by right clicking and then hit enter and a bunch of information will come up and it'll read <clears throat> sorry again for coughing it'll uh, pretty much reset your IP or, or the computer reset the IP that the computer looks for and that uh, is another method that seems to work for people but it didn't work for me this morning so that's why I started with the method that worked for me hopefully this one works for you again after you hit enter uh, you have to wait a little bit about I don't know it can take anywhere from five seconds to a minute so just wait until a bunch of information comes up and you'll know it's done and then follow the same steps by exiting out and then uh, restart your computer and hopefully that'll work for you guys but if it didn't I have this third method which uh, involves a fast startup so um, again if that if the first method or second method worked for you um, thank you guys for watching. You can click away from the video now. Hit that subscribe button for a little appreciation. And if it didn't work, hopefully this third method will work for you. What you want to do is go down to the bottom left, type in power, click on power options, just left click on it, and go to choose what the power buttons do in the top-ish left. 
then click uh, change these settings that are currently unavailable basically this is administrator um, quick side note anything you do on your computer uh, that you you're trying to fix a problem or whatever you should run as administrator or a lot of the times it won't work so click this and it'll reveal these little check boxes simply uncheck this box for the fast startup make sure it's unchecked save changes close out and restart your computer and hopefully that'll work if you got this far in the video guys I hope that last method worked for you guys but if it didn't I'm sorry um, maybe I can come up with I could link put a, I'll put a couple links to some uh, forms uh, down below so maybe you can find something there but those three methods seem to work the best I had them in order as how powerful they seem to work like the first one worked for me the second one didn't but it seemed to work for a lot of other people and the third one didn't work for me but it also seemed like it worked for a lot of other people but thank you guys for watching the video and as I've said a million times during this video please hit that subscribe button feel free to leave a comment with some feedback and rate the video thank you guys for watching hopefully I helped you out today peace Thank you.